Good morning, good morning. In the news this morning, welcome to video number two of the How to Train Your Glutes series. Today, we are talking about glute thrusters, hip thrusters, glute bridges, whatever the heck you want to call them. It's all the same thing. So this is one of the best, my favorite glute building exercises because I feel like it, I feel personally, and it does target and isolate the glutes so well that I honestly almost treat it like a major movement. Um, and I do it with heavy weight every time I train them. But it took me a while to get there. So you wanna make sure that your glutes engage with no weight at all at first. So you're gonna do this movement, you're gonna do it body weight only, maybe you'll add a band, and if your glutes are firing, awesome, start adding weight. If you're like, no, I don't feel this in my glutes, I feel this in my hamstrings, I feel this in my calves, I feel this in my quads, hip flexors, then you have a problem and you need to go back and mobilize your body because we don't want your hip flexors getting all the benefits of your glutes. Do you want a front butt? No, I'm just kidding. You wouldn't get a front butt by doing that, but you know what I'm saying. So yes, <laughs> glute hip thrusters are one of the best exercises you can do to really build your glutes. I'm gonna show you how I'm doing them here in this next video and check it out right now. Glute thrusters are the movement where you dip your hips down and up with a weight laying over the crease of your hips. It's the same movement as the glute bridge we did in our warm-up video with the band around our legs, except there's no resistance around the legs. The only tension and weight is coming from the barbell that's laying across the hips. Dip your hips down as low as you can so that you get a full extension in the glutes. That means the glutes are fully stretched. That is at the very bottom of this movement. As you dip your hips down, you're going to place more pressure in the heels of your feet. When you reach the bottom, ideally a few centimeters up from the floor, you're gonna engage your glutes as if you are pulling something up out of the floor right underneath you. When you engage your glutes, you're going to squeeze up. Imagine pulling something right out of the floor. Push your hips up into a full tabletop position so that your hip flexors are now completely stretched and your glutes are completely flexed and engaged at the top. Hold each rep at least two or three seconds so that you get a full extension. This movement is wasted if you just use all your momentum to throw the weight up. Don't really have any control or resistance on the weight coming down and essentially you're just using the momentum that you're creating to swing the weight up and swing the weight down. You want to keep tension and tightness throughout the entire movement. Use your breath. Inhale as you dip your hips down and exhale hard as you thrust your hips up, squeezing your glutes as tight as you can together at the top of this movement. When I dip my hips down, I will re-engage my glutes together with a hard exhale, drive my knees out, and keep pressure in the outsides of my glutes and outer thighs. I always place a rolled up mat or a squat pad in between the bar and my hips, otherwise it'll be extremely painful to have the bar resting right on your hip bones and you'll also wake up with pretty intense bruises the next morning. So I highly recommend rolling up a mat or getting the squat pad. I have a link to the squat pad that I normally use, just did not have it with me that day. The link is in the description box below. If for some reason you don't feel this exercise in your glutes at all, if you happen to feel it in your quads or you feel like your hip flexors are building up in lactic acid and are just frying, you need to go back to the first video on warming up your glutes and do the few exercises without any weight and take yourself through the mobility work of 
stretching and mobilizing your hip flexors because your glutes aren't gonna fire if your hip flexors are too tight. Life lesson for you right there. For those of you who are a little stronger or have some more experience with this exercise and you wanna see how to do it with a barbell, a plate-loaded barbell that you roll over your legs and uh, right onto your hips on the floor, um, click the link to this video up at the top. It's called Total Body Workout, um, my current program, and go to the 7.45 minute mark and you will see me do that. All right, hope you guys got some value out of this video and you can go into the gym right now and try out some glute thrusters. Stay tuned for the next video. We got some more good glute building exercise breakdowns coming at you.